Hey VC, it's uh, Jonathan, your cheaper and cheerful record collector. Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Um, this is going to be a video of new releases or new uh, records I've gotten. Um, because of the coronavirus, everything is shut down. There's no record stores open. I haven't been able to go digging. I haven't been able to go to Goodwill or my uh, little haunts where I get my records. Um, I'm, you know, I'm big on buying things cheap and I haven't been able to indulge in doing that. So I've been having to uh, go online and I bought some stuff at full price or close to full price, which is, it kills me, but the stuff I wanted. So I'm good with it. Uh, first record is a great album. It's uh, John Prine's newest album. It's called Tree of Forgiveness. Um, I got to admit, when this came out uh, last year, I was hesitant on picking it up. Um, I love John Prine. I have like eight or ten of his albums, and I was just didn't want to be disappointed. So I put off buying it. And then when I decided I really needed it, I couldn't find it anywhere locally. So um, I went online about a week or so ago, right before he passed away, and um, found this company called Sound, The Sound of Vinyl. And they had a 30% off sale. So I bought like five or six records from them at 30% off. So I got this the other day and it's fantastic. It's great. It's a great album. Um, Obviously, there's some songs I like more than others. There's a couple of them that aren't, I don't think, up to his standards. But most of the album is just fantastic. Knocking on your screen door is just great. Summer's End is wonderful. When I Get to Heaven, um, Caravan of Fools, Egg and Daughter Night, Lincoln, Nebraska. I mean, Crazy Bone, just great, great, great stuff. So if you don't know this particular John Bryan album and you know his other stuff, it's great. Really, really happy with that. Next one I picked up, this is also from that uh, The Sound of Vinyl uh, uh, website, is uh, a guy I had, I bought a 10-inch um, a of his during a uh, record store day about a year or so ago. So I was happy to get this one. This is a uh, Pokey Lafarge, and this is the, uh, and the South City 3, Middle of Everywhere. Um, as you can see from the looks of Pokey, if you don't know Pokey, very um, old-timey kind of music. Great singer-songwriter. Great uh, instrumentalist. I got my little, sorry, I got my little book of notes here. I spent and I have. So this is from 2011. So 10 years old. It's on, um, I love the picture on the inside of the band. Pretty great. And it's on Fat Possum. Which I love their labels because they're very uh, minimal, but very cool. Fat Possum Records. And that's Pokey Lafarge. This one I like. Really uh, captures the, the Pokey feel. <laughs> it's great. It's a great album. I also happened to buy from his website his newest album, which just came out last week which is called Rock Bottom Rhapsody. And it's a signed copy. I showed this on my uh, other website, my other uh, video of signed records. Uh, Pokey Lafarge, this is newest. Uh, it's on the New West label and it's the nice sort of yellowy, butter yellow. This one, I'm still not sure about. It's uh, a lot more orchestration than his earlier one. Um, the songs are really good. I'm just not so sure about the uh, production. I listened to it twice. I'm gonna give it another couple of listens. Pokey Lafarge. Next, I picked up a um, Towns Van Zandt album. I've been wanting for a while, and this is his third album, self-titled, called Towns Van Zandt, originally recorded in 1969. This is a 2015 Pressing, again on Fat Possum. There's that spare label. You all know Towns Van Zandt, great singer-songwriter. 
And this is, again, this is his third album. They also had, while I was there, I picked up Towns Van Zandt Rear View Mirror, which is a, can't get any information on it. It's two record set. It is a live album, but there's no information about where it was recorded, when it was recorded, or anything about it. All I know is that it originally came out as a CD in 1993, and this is a 2017 pressing of it. Nice label of Towns. And he does all his classic songs in here, Poncho and Lefty, um, Dollar Bill Blues, um, Colorado Girl, Our Mother the Mountain, If I Needed You, uh, Flying Shoes. I mean, it's a great album. But the, it's sort of frustrating that you can't find out more information about where it was recorded or when it was recorded. But it's all live. Very spare and really good. Love that album. Next one I picked up. These are, and again, these are almost all from that um, Sounds of Vinyl, <clears throat> which I get it, got 30% off, so I was all over that. Next one, I have a couple of his albums. I was happy to get this one. This is Guy Clark. This is his last uh, studio album from 2013. And this is my favorite picture of you. And this is fantastic album a little depressing i might say a little on the downside but boy what a songwriter his voice is sort of not by this time his voice is sort of going but what a great album oh my god and again this is on dual tone records a very again minimal kind of label but i like it but songs on here this is i think this is one of my favorite albums i've got recently uh Cornmeal Waltz, My Picture of You, My Favorite Picture of You, Rain in Durango, uh, The Death of Sis Draper, The Waltzing Fool, The High Price of Inspiration. Oh, do you know that singer-songwriter? He was friends with Towns Van Zandt, Steve Earle, all those people. Definitely check this out. Guy Clark, My Favorite Picture of You. <clears throat> and then one more I got from them. Um... I don't remember where I first heard this guy, but um, I have one other record by him, which I got recently, and I saw this one, and I had to have it, the Duck Baker. And somebody asked me what Duck Baker is. I said, he's sort of like a cross between, what I say, um, Leon Redbone and John Fahey. Okay? That gives you some idea of what he does. <clears throat> it's on Tompkins Square Records. This originally was, uh, this is a 2018 issue, but these are all demos and outtakes from 1973 to 1979. And um, fantastic guitar player, picker, a real picker. Uh, if you like that Leon Redbone, John Fahey kind of uh, picking stuff, definitely get on this. Find something by Duck Baker. I think you really enjoy him. Then I got some uh, jazz albums I picked up. <clears throat> These I got from uh, You Discover, which is another uh, online site. And these were all at 30% off also, so I couldn't say no. First one up is an uh, <clears throat> album. This is the uh, Blue Note. Um, what do they call these ones? Oh, the Tone Poet series. These are albums recorded. This one was recorded in 1957. It's Hank Mobley with Art Farmer on trumpet, Pepper Adams on uh, sax, Sonny Clark on piano, Paul Chambers on bass, and Philly Joe Jones on drums. Again, recorded in 1957 at Van Gelder Studios. And this is a brand new release just like a month or so ago. These Tone Poet series are just beautiful. Originally came out as a one... Uh, late, uh, record now comes out in a um, gatefold, beautiful gatefold with pictures from the sessions on it beautiful pressings you all know the Blue Note label great uh, hard bop jazz on this one absolutely love this record only thing I don't understand about the uh, 
Tone Poet series is that they're all released in stereo. And I don't know why they didn't release them in the original mono. But they're all released in stereo, which is fine. But I just, if you're going to do it, I don't know why they don't do the original. But beautiful pictures, sorry about the glare. Beautiful pictures inside of the band. And this is the uh, Bluno Tone Poet series. Great bop. Next one from that same series, the Tone Poet series, is uh, Dexter Gordon. And this is Clubhouse with Dex on sax, tenor sax, obviously, Freddie Hubbard on trumpet, uh, Barry Harris on piano, Bobby Cranshaw on bass, and Billy Higgins on drums. This was recorded in 1965 at the Van Gelder Studios in uh, Jersey. Again, beautiful packaging. Oh, see, I didn't even crack the uh, spine yet. Beautiful pictures of the original uh, session on that same uh, Blue Note label. And again, I don't know why when these were recorded in the 60s, I know these, these were recorded originally in mono, why they insisted on putting this series out in, vinyl, in a stereo instead of mono, I don't know. <clears throat> but it sounds fantastic, really beautiful, and I love this stuff. And the last one is uh, another jazz album. This is the Blue Note uh, 80, uh, 80th Anniversary uh, Series, not the Tone Poet. And it's uh, Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. This is Indestructible with Lee Morgan on trumpet, Curtis Fuller on trombone, Wayne Shorter on sax, Cedar Walton on piano, Reginald Workman on bass, and of course, Art Blakey on drums. This was also recorded in 1966, and this is a brand new 2019 pressing of this classic, classic hard bop album. Just fantastic. Great stuff. Again, regular Blue Note label, which we all know and love. So there you go. That's some new stuff I bought recently. Um, haven't bought a lot of new stuff till recently. Usually, I said most of my collection is from uh, Goodwill and um, uh, thrift stores, etc. So that's what I got. That's the new stuff I picked up recently. I've been doing a lot of listening and watching a lot of other people's videos. I want to thank everybody who has uh, taken the time to uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. I hope everybody's doing well out there. And um, until next time, peace.